Hi, I'm Sean. I am the hydrotherapist over here at Rehab Vet. What we do over here as hydrotherapists is we do taking dogs, um, animals with various conditions. Most people would think, oh, swimming a dog is just putting a dog in a pool and then let the dog swim. We will be in the pool with your dog and we will be understanding the dog's current condition. Um, there are various conditions that would require different handling skills to which we are taught and supervised and also certified. A lot of time it has to do with client education. It's having to let the client know then why I'm doing what I'm doing. That I find is the challenge most of the time. If you've got an ACL injury, right, you might want to consider a bit more weight-bearing exercises in the treadmill as compared to, say, just swimming laps. And sometimes the clients do not see it in that way. So I have to then put myself in a position to let the clients know in a human perspective. Some of the misconceptions, they would think that swimming solves it all. Um, but sometimes it could be being in a hydro treadmill, like even just a gentle massage in a heated pool would be more beneficial than letting your dog swim 20-30 laps. Clients sometimes underestimate their dog. Oh, hey, my dog fell into a pool at the age of three. Their dog is already 10 plus years old and the dog hasn't been swimming. So a lot of times the clients are very worried that the dog is very fearful, might freeze up, might bite us. Um, but most of the time with proper introduction back into the water, surprised. My dog is not fearful of water, in fact, my dog enjoys it. This would be some of the funny moments that we do see. Yes, he's uh, more uh, excitable than Charlie. Yeah, Charlie is a very calm old dog. I've always been with animals, um, big animals, small animals, I've always loved being around them. Um, specifically as to why hydrotherapy, I guess, I found that there was actually this career path that I could choose. It provides me with a lot more sense of purpose, like I find an industry where I truly am learning a lot more than I, than I would have expected and the learning never stops in this industry. Volunteer, try out. Um, speak to various hydro centres. There are quite a fair bit of hydro centres out there in Singapore. We have that being one of them. Like I said, it is really a learning process. So you have to just try it and, and, and learn as you go.